Hello again. This is part 10-ish. Maybe it'll be 11. Who knows? This is And now that we got the hammer in our inventory, we can't bring up the inventory screen when you're in your overhead map. Anyways, press A. We destroy rock. Yes, we can destroy all those rocks. And destroying those rocks will leave us to interesting places. More importantly, if we die, that means we have to do less backtracking. But right now we have to do some backtracking to get through the caves that were blocked by boulders. Makes perfect sense to me. Oh, by the way, you might notice I have another magic floor that was in a cave that was nearby the place where I got the hammer. Once I destroyed that boulder. And look at this, another heart container! So now we might actually be in business here, folks. And business is good. Business is Link. He jumps. Link jumping a game? That's absurd. No, oh, actually he does it in several games. While we're going through the backtracking parts, it might be a good time to tell you what I have played as far as Zelda games in the past. I have played the classics, of course, the original Zelda. Being in it, both quests, yes. I, of course, played this one and beat this one. Remember, these are all a long time ago. I have played the first Game Boy version, Zelda Link's Awakening, which Bopan's the third, aka the Randomite King, recently did a complete walkthrough on that. So, you can watch his there. As for me, you were watching Zelda 2, The Adventure Link. I played the Super Nintendo Zelda game. Zelda, A Link to the Past. Of course I beat it. And of course I beat it with zero continues. Because that may be cool and stuff. But it would be cool if these monsters would stop popping on the screen while I'm trying to talk. If you don't like narration, get off my video. If you like narration, please, turn up the volume. Don't worry, I won't scream much. I will underthrust enemies, though. And break boulders. And get dived bombed by stupid, experience-stealing birds. You might have noticed I also gained a sword level. You knew that was coming to Genshly. I was at 9.56 on the last video. So it was only a matter until I got a thousand. What am I doing? Making no sense. Get my butt whooped. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, let's continue on. Ignore that guy. We don't care about him. Now that guy is a little bit smarter. He backs up. That's why I have life magic. And what's that? It's a bottle of medicine. Yes. But it's not for me. Surprise, surprise. Ooh, look at that experience flow. If I even make it through. <sighs> I promised myself I would not grind. And that just sounded so gay there. But what we gotta do is survive. That's the name of the game. The Adventure of Link. Survive. Trademark. Well, at least we're in grass this time. That won't help me if I die. So let's rush, 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 rush to our safe place. This is our safe place. And now we can travel along the path. And now that we have the hammer, we can break whatever boulder is in our way to get to a town safely. I said safely! And let's get to that woman whose daughter is sick. But first, I'm sick in the head. Because you know what happened there, oh baby. What am 
I doing, you ask? I am ignoring people. Ignoring people is cool. That's what we do in modern society. We ignore people. We ignore everybody. We can give you mad what? But no, you can't have a real life adventure because everybody looks at you weird if you sit, talk to them. Yes, the water life. Which would be nice if I could carry it with me, but no, this isn't that type of Zelda game. But instead of seeing the daughter and giving it to her, we see this old guy. Power! Nintendo power! And turning into fairy is... Powerful, yet incredibly stupid, yet incredibly convenient, yet not really that powerful. It will let you do this. <laughs> yes, I am a fairy. I can go anywhere I want. I can go in multiple directions. I can still talk to people. But I can't attack or anything. But what I can I can do is go up that one ledge you saw. Hmm, mark me. In the next video. In the last video, I should say. You try playing this game for two hours and not take a drink. Not saying this game will drive you to drinking whiskey. No promises, though. What I'm really drinking is Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Oh gosh, the graveyard! That means... See? Magma's getting a little bit smarter. Not much. You take what you can get, folks. And you remember King's Tomb? Go south from King's Tomb? Fall down. Land on bug. Jump up and land on more bugs. And... Use magic. Turn into fairy. It's a good thing this thing wears off on the next screen. That is good. That's good too. You know what would be better? If I can get through this without getting hit. That's pretty good. But what it need to be doing is getting really good. And let's hope this guy gives us magic. I thought this guy's name was Iron Knuckles. I refuse to call him that. I'm calling him Steve. There we go, that's our magic. And yes, I will be abusing this trick to get full life and full magic. Thank you very much. And we shall take a time out here so we can go through the dungeon in its somewhat entirety. Magwin Love K, signing off for the moment.